I'm the partner of Marcus who, if you don't know, climbed the QE2 bridge in October last year to drop a banner shouting, just stop oil, and to raise the alarm once again to as many people as possible, calling on the government to stop all new gas and oil projects. When Judge Collery finally sentenced Marcus to two years and seven months, and Morgan to three years in prison on Friday, he said that their actions were disproportionate. He also said it was not his duty to express any opinion on the cause, but to sentence within the law only. He said, Marcus and Morgan felt themselves to be so important that, I quote, to hell with everyone else. And he looked directly at the news reporters as he said that bit. He said, these men should be punished for what they did and their sentence should act as a deterrent to anyone tempted to do anything similar. And finally, he said he had no reason to think that for the last six months in prison, Marcus and Morgan were now any less committed to the cause. As if six months in prison might have convinced them that climate change isn't happening. I say, shame on you, Judge Collery. Shame! Shame! A few months before Marcus and Morgan put their bodies and their liberty on the line to try and save everybody from hell, the exact opposite to what this confused judge said, Pakistan experienced the worst flooding the country has ever known. Flooding caused undisputedly by climate change. Over 1,700 people died and over 600 of those were children. Millions lost their homes and trillions of pounds were lost to the economy and the country will never be the same again. That is disruption. And that is just one example of disruption caused by the climate crisis, of people dying right now. And this judge used the word disproportionate. Where is your education, Judge Collery? Where is your history education? Where is your geography education? Where is your science education? And where are your morals, Judge Collery? It is not enough in your position of power and authority just to have an education in the law. Not your duty to express any opinion on the cause. How wrong you are. This is not a cause. This is not a matter of opinion. This is a matter of possible life or death of the entire human species. This is collective suicide. And in not expressing an opinion, I say you are a complicit with a genocidal, ecocidal government. A government which, when the Minister for Climate in Pakistan appealed directly to Britain to stick to their pledges of the Paris Agreement, we ignored her. And well done, George Collery. On Friday, you had an ethical choice, and you chose to sit yourself boldly on the wrong side of history. I say let's not put our energy into anger at their sentences. They wouldn't want that. Marcus and Morgan are okay, and they knew what they were doing, and they did it to inspire. So, be inspired, not angry. Continue to put your energy into working positively for change, with active hope. Active hope means having a vision for what you want to see, and working towards that vision. That's what keeps me going. That's what gets me up in the morning. Not fighting against a system, but working towards a different system. A system that measures growth in well-being over gross domestic pro product. A system which slows down and moves at a human pace. A system which recognises that people are happier when they're helping other people. A system that works with nature and not against it.